I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here today, guys. I'm going to do a modified Monday and a mail call Monday. I guess first I'll, uh, I'll do the mail call. On Friday in the evening, I got a package in the mail from my buddy Dwayne down at Clark's Kentucky Knives sent me a package Dwayne I really really appreciate that and these are some awesome things that you sent me sent me a couple of his stickers for his channel which is really cool sent me a bookmark with the Lord's Prayer on it and a place on the back to uh, keep some items of concern for prayer stuck this in my Bible as soon as I got it he also sent me a, a pocket cross handmade in Bethlehem from olive wood of the region and this is the card that came with it, it tells about it and there's a website there if anybody cares to look into it pretty awesome I appreciate that Dwayne and then he also sent me a couple of knives I've done just a little bit of cleaning on these they were in pretty good condition when they came and I uh, didn't have to do a whole lot just cleaned them a little bit put some oil on them this first one this neat uh, blue pattern fish knife single blade and when I first looked at it I had a really hard time seeing the tang stamp my eyes are not the best and I could not figure out what it said I could tell that it said uh, something of Ireland at the bottom so I looked online trying to figure out what kind of knife it was because he didn't tell me he sent me a note too that was really nice and uh, but I I found an identical knife to this online and found out that that says Joika, J O W I K A, Joika, and then Republic of Ireland. And that looks like an owl on the left side of the stamp there. It's part of their logo. So this is pretty cool. I like this a lot, Dwayne. It's a pretty neat knife. rag tangled up in it. And this uh, still has some pretty good snap to it too. That's pretty cool. And then this one here is a Ranger three blade stockman three springs And it's got the uh, logo of Elvis. It says Elvis Presley, King of Rock and Roll, 1935-1977. He said he sent me this because he knew I liked music. And said if I wasn't an Elvis fan, I could just give it to somebody who is. But I uh, wrote him back and I told him that, uh, in fact, when I was a kid, my dad was stationed in... Augsburg, Germany, and we lived there for three years between 1957 and 1960. My sister is uh, several years older than I am, and uh, she was a huge Elvis fan at the time. Elvis happened to be stationed in Germany at the same time we were, and my dad arranged a trip, one of our many trips while we were over there, to uh, 
take my sister to meet Elvis. And uh, we actually got to meet Elvis over in Germany. And I think it was sometime around 1958 when we got to meet him. So that is pretty cool to have this knife. And uh, my sister finds out about this. She's liable to be talking me out of it. But that's uh, it's a pretty nice knife there too. It looked like it uh, had been stored away for a long time. Had a little bit of rust on it, but not in bad shape at all. It's a Ranger. It's a Providence USA tank stamp. And also says uh, Ultra Hone. Ranger Ultra Honed Blade Etching. Got your clip point, sheep's foot, and spade blade. And this is a, a pretty good size stockman. It's four inches. And these are nice hefty blades on there too. I did just a little bit of cleaning on this, got the rust off, there was just a tiny bit of surface rust, didn't try too hard to get any of the patina off, it still looks good, and it appears that these blades have never been used, never been sharpened, and I doubt if the knife was ever carried, looks like it was just stored and ended up uh, just getting some rust on it from being stored something red got up against the, the handles there and left a little bit of uh, stain on them like a red cloth or red paper or something and bled onto the uh, onto the handles sorry if I'm out of frame here I'm trying to look over my phone and look at the knife I'll try to stay in frame here That's pretty cool. Those are from Dwayne at Clark's Kentucky Knives. Thank you so much, Dwayne. I really appreciate that. And then I'm going to show my first attempt at a modification. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's pretty pitiful, actually. If you saw my video uh, several weeks ago, I think I did it on a two for Tuesday. I've got two little Parker Huskies. And I did a, a two for Tuesday on my twin Huskies. They both had natural bone handles, and so I just decided to try something. Never done anything like this before, and uh, so Aaron over at uh, AW Designs challenged everybody to uh, to do a modified Monday. So here's my premier attempt. This is the first time I've done anything like this. All I did was just take my Dremel and just start uh, with the smallest bit on there and just tapping some uh, stippling into the bone. I couldn't really see how it was turning out. It was hard to see. And I, At first I tried using some shoe cream some dark brown shoe cream to, to try and uh, add some pigment to the bone, but that didn't work. So I broke out my torch and uh, burnt them a little bit. And so there's my first attempt at a modified. I think this is probably going to change down the road. 
I'll probably do something else to it, try to make it a little more presentable. There you go, that's my first pitiful attempt. So, that's about it for today. Thanks again to Dwayne, Clark's Kentucky Knives. And shout out to Aaron over at AW Custom Designs. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Leave me some comments.